Hey, welcome back to the Devasound channel. Today we're going to be talking about Sonarworks and their new offering, Sound ID. Very exciting. Stick around to find out more. So, the audio company Sonarworks have released a brand new piece of software in the form of a mobile app and it's called Sound ID. And what Sound ID does is essentially bring their studio referencing software to the consumer. It's a very exciting concept for the audiophiles out there who, who want to listen to their favorite artist's music much closer to the way that the artist intended it. So Sonarworks have been known for their studio reference software, namely Reference 4. Great piece of software that I've been using for a long time and it's become a major game changer for me, getting much better mixes in my in my home studio here. I've even got the, the measurement microphone. You, pro you can probably find plenty of videos about it, but it's you, you basically go through a whole process of sending weird noises out of your speakers and moving this around your listening area and you essentially calibrate the listening environment that you sit in when you are mixing. So yeah, what Sound ID does is brings the headphone side of things of their reference for software and puts it into your mobile phone for listening on the go. I thought we could take a deep dive together, go from top to bottom and how Sound ID works. So let's do that, shall we? Right, so here we are getting into the Sound ID app, and here it is. Got my favorite M50Xs on, let's find out what this app does. So what happens when you first open the app? You choose the headset that you use. So you choose the headphone model. I've already chosen the M50Xs because that's the one I'm using. It has what seems like thousands of models uh, of headphones. All the way from, all the way up here from Audio-Technica, Adam Audio, AKG, all the way through to Z. I don't, I don't really know any Z. Essentially, you know, all these companies have multiple models of headphones that they develop. And what Sonarworks has, it has a calibration for each of these headphones, which shows its frequency response, uh, where it dips and where it peaks, uh, whether it's bassier, whether it has more top end. And what it does with that information, it counters that frequency response by adding a frequency curve that flattens out the response. So yeah, you choose your headphones here, you go, uh, here we go, I've got, I'm wearing my M50Xs, and they're the wired model, yes, and then you hit continue, headphones selected. And there you go, and it shows you the frequ actual frequency response of the headphones here. And that's all you have to do for this. And then, so once you've chosen your headphones, you can then do the preference test, which uh, tailors the sound that you're listening to to what you what you personally prefer. So I've taken it before and it's shown that I have a U-type uh, category preference, which means that I like to have a bit of an extra top end and a bit extra low end. You might take this test and you might have a different preference. Let's do the preference test again. Uh, I'll, I'll go through this advanced test. It's not too different from the, the standard test that you do when you first open the app. So here we go. It confirms that you're wearing the headset that you've chosen and then you choose which of these sounds, these test sounds. You can choose which, which of the test sounds that you want to do the test with. You know, stuff like this. I always like to use the distorted guitars because you'll probably know why. So it's basically going to ask me, do I prefer A or B? And that's how it works out what you prefer as a listener. Here we go. Definitely A. That's a bit duller, so definite, definitely A. I think this one sounds a bit punchier for some reason. These are what I'm preferring from the options, but like you might be listening to this and thinking, oh, but but B is better than A. I as me, I as me doing this preference testing. Those are the offers I pref options I'm preferring. And you will probably do this test and you will find, you'll, you'll find the settings that work for you. Few moments later. And now it's just analyzing my preference from the choices that I made. Now I can have a listen and switch it off and on just to see if I actually made the right choices for my preference.
that definitely sounds better to me. Like, it sounds fuller, like in the mid range. It, it's going to be totally different for you at home because you're not listening on the headphones. But from where I'm sitting with these headphones, it, it's really improving the sound that I'm getting. Oh, it's gorgeous. Cool. Yes, I really like that. So I guess I'll do that. Yeah, and the preference came out almost exactly the same. I think there was a bit more. I think this time I've I've got a bit more of a bass preference. I might be wrong there. You might want to re. I might rewind this and find out if I was if that's correct or not. The next part is hearing test. So yeah, as well as being able to correct for the headphones you're wearing, it can actually correct for your own hearing, the way your individual ear. Hears. It, it will correct for whether you've got some possible top-end hearing loss, maybe. Lots of music professionals do suffer from tinnitus, it's it's quite a problem. This is my actual hearing here, which I, I took this yesterday. Let me go through the what the hearing test does. Again, it confirms to make sure you're listening on the right headphones. Gotta make sure you're in a very quiet place. You're gonna have to listen to often very quiet tones as you do this test. Okay, so I have to find out. I have to press the button when I can hear it. I don't know if you heard that, I did. As soon as you can hear the tone uh, as it's raising a level, you press the button to let, let the test know that you, you can hear that. And then what it does with that information, because it's sending out frequencies, and what the test is doing is learning where your hearing is weakest or, and strongest. It will provide a frequency response of how your ears hear. That in itself is, it's interesting to know whether you've got hearing loss worse in one ear or the other. So yeah, I'm go I'll, I'll finish this test. 12 seconds later. All right, there we go. And done. Adjust your hearing test results. Let's go for my favorite distorted guitars. Do I prefer A or B? A. For sure. Sound ID created. Let's try it out. Obviously, this is my sound ID. This is going to be my hearing response, which might be problematic. So you're going to be hearing what the software is correcting for me as a listener on my headphones and my ears. So it could be totally wrong. It's very likely, actually, that it could be totally wrong for you guys. I guess you're just going to have to try it for yourself to see what a difference it makes. It's nice. It, it brings out a lot of mid-range, but it, it it's detailed mid-range. It's and detailed important mid-range actually. So that's nice. It feels so much more intimate and closer with the music like this. Yeah, it really it really favors vocals. It really brings it out. Ah, cool. Okay, so that's interesting. As you can see here in my hearing, I've got a bit of a low end hump. Uh, mid-range is pretty flat. A little bit of a dip in the left ear, interesting. And so what you can, what I can do then is open up Spotify, and, and then what the sound ID will do is impart my sound ID onto the output of the device, and I'll be able to listen through through my sound ID, which will correct the whole my whole listening environment to give a much more accurate listening experience. Woo! All right, off. This is so much better. Yeah. Ooh. Off. On. Oh. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So there you go. That is Sound ID, studio reference listening software for the consumer. I think it's a fantastic app. I've really liked what Sonoworks did with the reference for it. And now to be able to listen to like that Sonoworks reference sound on the go. Massive game changer for me. So absolutely love it. So that concludes this video. I, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in trying this out yourself, go check it out in the app store on your phone and get good sound. Get good. Just get good. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.